Yo, it's your man DJ Doughboy. And it's C. Kelly. And he is on point today because the nigga start shooting up that yak again. Damn right. It's running through my veins. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, we mobile. We are definitely mobile. All motherfucking phones. Um, damn, what kind of phone you got, bitch? We on that joint. All motherfucking phones. You got chirp, chirp. So search WZTO. You hear JD Kid say, yo, yo. Yo, yo. on the pop. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, we in the building with my man JD Kid. The mayor of Chester's here. Hey people, I'm just happy to be here, man. I, I, I appreciate you guys for having me today. Uh, you know, whatever you want to talk about, we can talk about it. I don't care. It's no hole in the bar. It's like when we were younger. That shit is on wrestling. Yeah, that's how that's how real you know it's real. It's real when there's no holds bar, my man. Like, no rules involved. It's like when we was young boys in high school and I didn't have no conscience. Whatever y'all want to talk about. Let's get it on. Just happy to be here. Hey, man, listen. I, I witnessed something, right? Jada Kid told somebody, somebody told Jada Kid right on Twitter, they can bet some money. The joke is, hold on, he said, I don't bet for money, but we can fly a plane. Yeah. He said, I don't run no football field, I fly a plane. Yeah. I thought that was the smoothest shit ever. If you know what yeah. I mean. If you don't know, if you don't know, like you gotta have that that undercover talk so people, I mean, be over people's heads sometimes. Got a slick tongue in it. Yeah, yeah, man. Cause I don't, I don't ride no dirty buses. I fly my planes high, man. I be going. Clouds. I think he's going down. Yeah, well, you know, most of the time I am. You know, Nine times out of ten, unless I'm asleep. <laughs> Unless I'm sleeping. If I'm sleeping, I ain't high, but I'm telling you, as soon as I wake up, brother, you already know. Wake Lace up. Wake up, my nigga. Wake and bake. They need to make a cereal with my face on it. Wake and bake. <laughs> I'm telling you, roll that thing up. Yes, your morning will be great. And hot tea. Alright, so let's, let's get to it. How long has Jenny Kids in the Red Chest? Uh. I say approximately since 1982, when I when I when I was established as the mayor of Chester. 1982 it was the year. It was the year? Uh, yes. Uh, I officially got my 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 piece of paper, quote unquote, my piece of paper. I say about 2000 and about 299. To 2000. That's when I started breaking out my shell. Now, you know, I'm the mayor of this motherfucker. Okay. You know, that's when it really was official. What made you want to get into comedy? For, for two years. Let me see. The reason why I got into comedy. I got into comedy because I was always making people laugh. That's one thing. And after a while, you start making a whole lot of people laugh. Like, I've made Africans laugh. By talking about Africans and stuff, like I figure if I can make an African, yeah, if I can make an African laugh, I figure I can tell some jokes. But I just happened to like I always was in the radio. That's why I liked your know, radio show. You know what I'm saying? But I, I, radio was my first love. And when I was in school or college, I, I they had a talent show, and I always wrote. Like since I was young, I always was writing jokes. I always had jokes to write, but I never like did anything with it. I was always writing. But one time I was just like, I'm, I'm going to do some jokes at, at the talent show. I went up there. I gonna hop on stage. Yeah, fuck it. I'm gonna try this shit. I don't see what it's worth. I went up there. I never got into the jokes that I wrote because it was a big fat girl in the front row and she's always loud on campus. This is a true story. She's always loud and I hate loud fat girls. Like you can be fat, but don't be loud and fat. You're so I let her. Yeah, I, I just threw about a whole lot of jokes at her. Then some mop head girl with some dreadlocks jumped up. And then I killed her. And I never got into my jokes, but after that, I just loved the high of being on stage and having people looking at me. Mm -hmm. So, it's been like that since. Where the fuck is G Strange Johnny? Johnny's, oh, Johnny's, Johnny's, Johnny's working right Listen, now. Listen, right? The first time we seen G Strange Johnny, Jada Kid had a talent show. A nice talent show. I don't know if it was Jay's first joint that they ever put together, but. All I know is Johnny came out with a fucking fireman's hat on, some brown trench coat, a brown trench yeah. coat, some gold tights. Oh yeah. See Johnny, then, <laughs> Johnny's a stripper, uh, a fireman, and a superhero. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah these are his. Yeah, these are these are his occupations. <laughs> so when do he strip? 
you sit anywhere, anytime. <laughs> like when he's a superhero, when uh, Johnny's when Johnny's out saving people and everything, he just stripped you to death. Like you know, okay. like if you kidnapped the kid Kelly and you had the kid for ransom, Johnny would come save the kid. But the way you would get rid of the kid, Johnny would just start out of nowhere, just start stripping the shit. <laughs> yeah, after a while, you just gonna get a kid up and you want Johnny to put some goddamn clothes on. Put your clothes on. Jo- Johnny's a superhero, <laughs> but he also he's also he. he He's also a fireman, also that's where the fireman hat comes from. Like a little macho. That was the first time Johnny came out too. That was, that was Johnny's first time. Johnny, the world, man. man. Oh, it's one of my crazy characters. Johnny killed the fashion show too. Oh yeah, John, that was Johnny. Johnny had to get his name up. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no pun intended. You know what I'm saying? I'm working on a movie for Johnny too. I'm trying to put a full movie together. For Johnny? Yeah, definitely. If Early got a movie, why the hell won't Johnny get a movie? <laughs> Where the right. fuck that boy been at? Early's been, Early, he been down again. Early's down again. You know what I'm saying? Because you know that the latest movie, By Any Means Necessary, he was just getting out of jail, getting in custody. Lately, after a while, like, Johnny went down again. I mean, not Johnny, um, see, I get him mixed up my goddamn self. So. <laughs> um, Early, Early got locked down again. So. You know what I mean? We gotta find a way to get Early back out, but he, you know what I mean? He'd be around, believe that. Yeah, we need Early and Cool Turk together. Cool Turk down with them. So. Shout out to Cool Turk, man. Hey, shout out to Cool Turk, man. Yeah, fuck Cool Turk. Cool Turk owe me some goddamn money. Well, who don't Cool Turk go? <laughs> like, I mean, like, that's, that's the damn list, my nigga. Like, who don't he owe? Oh, shit, man. <laughs> who don't he owe? Yo. Cool Turk and Johnny. That little motherfucker. Now, 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 this water. Is this Nestle? <laughs> Nestle Pure Life? It's Nestle. Nestle? Yeah, you got it. Oh, well, they're not. See, we got to put it on some booze and shit, man. This is Nestle. It's Nestle. Yeah, yeah <laughs> uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, like it's, it's very crystal, but if I was to get paid, I would do a commercial for this. It's so refreshing. <laughs> <laughs> I know sometimes I get, I go off, I go off something. <laughs> But we can continue, come on. Hey, what what is up with the CNN shit? The Chester News Network? Yeah, man. Uh, the Chester News Network, it consists of me and my and my partner in, in joke, uh, Jamil B. Shout out to my main man, Jamil B. See you, TV. It's, it's the Raw News Report. The Chester News Network, Raw News Report on JDKTV.com. But it's just like, like you know, I, all, everybody has this outlet of saying what's on their mind and reporting the news and everything and I always was into that so I figured let me bring you the rawest form of news so you'll really understand like you're going to get the story but at the same time you're going to be able to enjoy the story right so I it's just it's just the rawest form of news man and all the latest the latest that's going on around the city and everything and, and entertainment business and we just bring it to you as, as raw as we can and ignorant. We're actually doing episode four. It'll be out probably by next week, episode four of the Raw News Report. JD Kid just dropped this one, his latest DVD. Mm-hmm. By any means necessary. JD Kid is naked. <laughs> no, Jameer Early. Early. Jameer Early is naked. Yeah, uh, Early's naked. Early. Early. I'm not naked. Early's naked. <laughs> on the toilet. On the toilet. He's out of shower scene. The shower scene, because Early, he just came home. <laughs> what I want to know is, what kind of ass did Early give up for that? Early, Early got some, Early got a lot of husbands that came at him. Cause see, early don't deal with no women. He can deal with your husbands. Early deal with husbands. Early will tell you, no man, you got to know how to finesse your husbands. Finesse your husband. Finesse your husband. You got a lot of boozies. Yeah, finesse them. It's early talking. It's old school, man. Tell you. This nigga said you got to finesse. Finesse your husband. Finesse your husbands. Physical with your hussy. Listen, if you want to let Doughboy finesse you, how? <laughs> Them husbands love to be finesse. They love to be finesse. <laughs> But early, early had just came home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't have to be from that. You, you never know how many kids are listening to <laughs> Yo, when I first seen that scene, right? It's hard to miss first. It was, a, it was like a link on Facebook. <laughs> oh, yeah. The, it was like a link. Promo. It was like a link. So I'm looking at this one. This one from in the shower city. Ooh, the old Jerome type joint. Mm-hmm. Then he gets out and on the talk. So let me call this bitch see if she got some money for me. I said this motherfucker crazy, man. He, he was calling up early. Early was actually he was on the phone with, uh, with uh, Rick James. 
Rick James, and then Rick James went back, so he was trying to get some money from Rick James. Rick James? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He was on the phone with Rick James. Rick owed him some cash. He told him before he got when he went in, y'all got you when we come home or whatever. Got you when we come home. Before he passed or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Him and Earl go back like that. But that's, that's either here or there. That's the earliest. By any means necessary, you go to jakeandkidtv.com with a full length movie. It's only five bucks. Shameless plug. <laughs> I'm, I'm good at the show. I will tell you real quick, jdkstv.com or no goddamn ground. I'm telling you. <laughs> Great plug, though. Great plug. It's shameless. But we, we child, you, you still haven't told us how many husbands has early finessed. He finessed. Like, see, see hold real on, players don't talk. Hold real hold real players don't. Before we go, before we go any further. <laughs> All right. Does early, does early have a woman that he finesses? So he can't talk about his husbands, or does he just. Nah, early. You see, Early's a player, and players don't really like, since he be giving me game, you know what I mean? He, he break down the laws, but he never like tell me who she is and how many or whatever. He just give me scenarios with a different hussy. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I'm knowing, and I done had about over, since the movie dropped, which was last November, uh, he gave me about 17 scenarios. But some of those scenarios had about two, three husbands in that scenario. That was one day's work. So you do the math about 17 times, about three times four times. It's a lot of husbands, man. Cash, though, he got you beat. Early, early, how you he got, the, he got the DJ beat. J-E-M-E-R-E. E A R L Y. Well, no, nah, listen, right? Early an OG. Yeah, he's all. He's all. I, I, I give him that because you know him being an OG, his his husband might not have no teeth, nothing. You don't care. <laughs> early don't care. <laughs> you know, the last thing early got, he just came home from doing a biz. He ain't so worried about nobody no teeth. He ain't right? worried about no goddamn teeth. He just been being around all these buck ninjas <laughs> in the bay. He come home to some hussies because he done dropped the movie. I don't got damn teeth. He just have she got something slit in between her goddamn legs. Teeth like for like like next. I like a battle with no teeth. Yeah, it feels better, smoother. <laughs> Roll on deodorant. <laughs> Dumb. You know what I'm saying you, you can't, you can't be Dumb. choosy. Sarah can't be choosy, man. <laughs> no. Yo, we we about to take a quick break, right? We gonna get into Jada Kids uh, poop love real quick, man. And we'll be back. WZTL Radio, Jada Kids, Ciao. Doe, go ahead and see Kelly E's, and we gonna come back. We need to find out about Jada Kids, Wendy Williams experience. Wendy Williams experience. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> Wendy Williams. What happened with Wendy? Well, I, I did a, I did an internship. Um, 